windows enlightenment the radiance of bio energy if sex is the seed of an seed then enlightenment is the fruit enlightenment is the ultimate fruition of existential bio energy unless this fruition happens life of ignorance and misery continues one continues to stumble in the darkness searching for the black cat in a dark room or waits for a messiah to come to deliver him remember no messiah can ever deliver you you have to be your own messiah you have to learn to carry the cross on your shoulders up life's hill only then one day out of the son of man is born the son of god resurrection or enlightenment happens however in the process the presence of an awakened one can and does act as catalyst to activate the process of transformation for this one has to be light on to oneself with this you are a beacon light for your own path this process is mystical yet methodological the bio energy has to begin its journey from its storehouse in the body in the process this energy passes through various stages of frozen fluid and gaseous and pass through various terminals or energy vortices your consciousness as understanding sets the process in motion but for lotus of love to begin its whisper with the existence its roots have to grow and go deeper into the dark caves of your being while the roots of your under understanding deepens something alongside begins to grow on the surface unnoticed by human cognition until a quantum leap takes place that is the beginning of the lotus of love that is the growing of the lotus of love unnoticed journey begins through the interaction of opposite energies in the beginning there is chaos and disturbance misery and unfulfillment remains your experience this is just the beginning unwanted and unnecessary must decompose to fertilize the inner soil the bio energy as sex provides necessary nutrients to the tree of consciousness that has yet to bear the fruits of love and awareness the interaction between the opposites yet complementary energies begins at physical level through sex indeed sex is the unique and most subtle way of interaction between a man and a woman also it remains as the unique way of interaction throughout the entire process something that was one source of chaos and misery soon 
with proper cultivation becomes the perennial source of bliss. Something that was once the source of chaos and misery soon with proper cultivation becomes the perennial source of bliss. This requires deep understanding of human sexuality and the role of existential bioenergy in the process of transformation. Along with this deep meditation, deep meditative insights are also needed. Only with such insight, roots of sex can go deep to set the process of blossoming, blossoming of inner lotus. Unless lotus of love blossoms, transcendence cannot happen. The lotus of love grows out of the mud of sex. Unless this lotus of love blossoms, transcendence cannot begin. Both life and death are interconnected to one another in a mystical manner. What connects life and death is body and consciousness. Consciousness undergoes its own process of growth from unconscious and subconscious layers at body level to superconscious and cosmic layers beyond the realm of the body. Body and consciousness have a unique relation. Both are connected through sex. Sex happens at the level of the body and its fragrance reaches consciousness. Sex happens at the level of the body and its fragrance reaches consciousness. Through consciousness kindles the inner lamp and fills inner being with bliss. This inner light and bliss manifests as underlying phenomena of understanding and creativity. This inner light and bliss manifests as understanding and creativity in myriad dimensions and they have to be so because it is through sex that life is born one day. Also, it must be through sex that li life disappears one day. Sex begins as body consciousness because you are only aware of the body, certainly with your understanding, you cannot cross the domain of body to reach the next layer of emotions. As long as one continues to interact at the physical level, energy does not transcend the layers of the body to reach the next layer of emotions. With proper understanding of the process and interaction of two energies, one day through sex, body disappears. And that is a great moment. And with this also dissolves the body consciousness. Know this as a new beginning. In most of the cases, through unconscious interaction in sex, another body is born. This way, one remains in the vicious cycle. And when out of awareness, one day body dissolves through the act of sex, then transcendence happens. 
with roots of sex deepening, the energy reaches the heart center. Psychological maturity comes. Lotus of love blossoms. Love begins to share its beauty, luster, fragrance with the winds. Suddenly, the spring of love becomes the garden of consciousness. Suddenly, the spring of love becomes the garden of consciousness and life becomes the garden of Eden with myriad flowers blossoming all around. Love pronounces aesthetic beauties and whispers to the cosmos through silence gestures. Love pronounces aesthetic beauties and whispers to the cosmos through silent gestures. The drop merges in the ocean. Energy that was once fluid like, the energy that was once fluid like has begun to evaporate, to merge with the outer existence. Both inner and outer merge into one another. With this merger or dissolution, a new journey begins, the journey of enlightenment. Your life has now grown out of the quagmire of sex. A new unexplainable bliss grows within and begins to trickle down to every aspect of your life. You will be very content. There is nothing to wish for afterwards. The ultimate has happened. Nothing changes outside. What really changes is your response to objects, beings, circumstances and situations. What really changes is your response to objects, beings, circumstances and situations. A new perspective to life and living comes. At times there may be difficulty. At times things may be difficult and seem apparently unmanageable and you could not get to the bottom of what was happening. You start caressing yourself, loving yourself. In that orgasmic release, the body let go of everything. All outer problems and all that may seem difficult. In that orgasmic release, the body let go of everything, all outer problems and all that seem difficult in the beginning. Your life starts rivering in a new symphony and rhythm. Your life starts rivering in a new symphony and rhythm. Enough for now.